Yeah, welcome back. So this video, we are going to um, get started with how to install Flink. Okay, so if you come to this page, you will see um, there's a link, download the latest binary release. So I'm going to open it in a new tab. Then once you open it in a new tab, you'll see all the download links. We are going to look at Apache Flink 1.18.1. Uh, so I'm going to click on the first link and then it will open this uh, next link. So I'm going to copy that link. Once I copy that link, um, I'm going to go to I'm going to open uh, a terminal. Once I open this terminal, um, I'm going to say um, W get and then hit enter. This is going to download the TGZ um, file for us. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. So as you can see, it's 100% done. Um, so you can see it here. We, we're going to do tar hyphen XVF, and then we specify the the flank TGZ file, and then we hit enter. It's going to unpack everything into a folder called flank hyphen 1.18.1. We're going to cd into this um, folder. And then there's another folder called bin. OK, so we're going to cd into bin. Once we cd into bin, and then we do ll or ls, we'll see all these sh uh, files. So the one we are going to look at is um, going to look at uh, Flink, where is it? Um, we're going to look at this start cluster and then stop cluster. OK, so those are the two uh, SH files that we're going to look at. So I'm going to do dot forward slash start I think cluster. OK, so once we hit enter, it's going to start the cluster. But we are not going to see anything at this moment. So this cluster is going to be running on port 8081. OK. So if I come back to my browser and then I put in localhost 8081, you can see this is the, the Flink uh, dashboard. And you have overview jobs, running jobs. You can see we don't have any running jobs. Um, completed job zero. We have tax manager. So most of the job we submitted to the tax managers through the job manager. Okay, so this is how the job manager looks like. And then you can also submit uh, new jobs using your jar files. Um, so just to let you know, you can also submit jobs through this um, tab. Okay, so the overview is you can see available tax one running job zero. The version that we are running is 1.18.1. .1. And then um, completed job list. We're going to look at all these things, how we can use all this information right here. OK, so um, if we go back to the page, um, OK, so we we did this. And then. Um, I don't think we need this. So the Java version that I'm using currently is Java version. So I'm using uh, the Open JDK version 1.8.0 underscore 252. OK, so that is what I'm using. Uh, you need to have this Java installed before Flank is going to work. 
Okay. And um, we can also um, submit a job. Let's 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 do this. Um, let's run this command. So if we go back, you see this example folder. Okay, there is a um, a file in the in the in the jar. There's a a jar file in there. So what we are going to do is um, let's see the back a little bit. Okay. So once we We say uh, bin flank. We want to run um, from example. Um, let's look at the command again. At streaming, okay, streaming, and then you can see the word count. Okay, this is the word count jar. So we're going to say word count. And um, yeah, so that is it. If we run this, you see a job was submitted and then the program executed with this job ID and it's finished after this millisecond. Okay, so now let's go back to our flank. Um, UI. So if we come to running jobs, the job completed. So there's no running job. We have completed job is this one, word count. If you click on it, this is what we are going to see. We're going to see um, these two boxes, blue boxes, meaning that there was something that was processed here and then sent here. So you can see there's a source and then there's a sync. Okay, so that's how it looks like. And if you look below, we have a, a source and then a sink, and both of them are finished job. And um, if we look at the tax manager, we don't see much information, but if you look at the logs, um, you see a whole bunch of logs here. And then the standard out, this is um, what we see. So it's a word count, so it counted the words. So this is the output. This is where you find your output, okay? And then also you can see the log list. If you look at the tax executor and you click on it, you see that um, this is where you find the, 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 the logs. Okay, so it comes with the tax executor, the number of executors, the host name, okay, dot out. Okay, so this is, so you can actually download this uh, logs to wherever you want to download it to. Um, so this is the output. Okay, so you can actually download the output. Um, yeah, so basically that is it. Um, I can copy this. Okay, so if we come to our terminal, you see that you can tell the logs. Okay, so let's see if we can tell the logs. So you can, here you can see that there is a log folder over there. So if we see it into the logs, we can actually, uh, where is the tax executor? This one, we can tell this, this and say till um, hyphen F, and then we paste this in. So you can see that this is the output from that job, okay? So this is how you check the output from the logs, okay? So once we are done, I think, so you can, you can see the output is the same, um, okay? Yeah, so I think that is that. This is this is the same output that we see. Um, 
So going forward, um, yeah. So basically, that is how you use the, you submit jobs to the uh, Kafka. I say Kafka Flink um, UI, and then you'll be able to visualize and then uh, make use of the Flink Web UI and visualize all your jobs. Once you are done and you want to clean up, you just have to run this command. Okay, so let's go back. Um, let's see the back out of this folder. Okay, so I'm going to say dot bin um, forward slash stop cluster. Okay, so once we stop the cluster, everything is gone. Um, if we come back and then we refresh, you can see that the server is gone. Okay, so this is how you download, install, run jobs uh, in Flink. Okay, so we are going to go deep deep into this um, Flink uh, 10. So just stay tuned and let's keep going. I'll see you in the next one.